specificity is an amazing concept for CSS. It once you understand specificity, you stop struggling that much because normally what happens is that styles are having conflicts within each other. Like for example, if I say that I want, I say that I have this website, and I say that I want, I want all anchors, no, all allies, right? All the allies to be background pink. And I also say that, that I want all the BG, BG red classes to have a background red. And then I apply BG red to this ally class. Then what's going to happen is that the first one's going to be red, but the other ones are going to stay. Well, they are blue now, so I'm guessing I have a different problem. Oh, yeah, this one's winning. Let me remove this one for a second. There you go. They are pink, but this one's red. And why do you think this one's red? Because it's more specific. Like, it's more specific to come and apply a class to something than just to say all the allies should have a background pink. So the more specific, if I switch the order in this, like this, and I put this one first, the, um, the ally will not win, even though it's, it's last, it will still be the same exact result. Look, the same exact, this is from before, now, before, now. It's more specific, the by G red than the ally, and that's why it wins, not the order in the file. That is some misconception that sometimes we have when we are a junior. And when we uncomment this, it also, like, look, this one's saying all the allies to be pink, but this one's saying all the allies that belong to a UL. So this one's gonna win because it's more specific. If I run it again, you'll see that they will turn blue. It's more specific, this one. Even though it's the first one, it could seem that it's being overridden by this by these ones, but no, they are not. So specificity wins. This instruction, this exercise saying that they want us to override the background color of the third item, right? This one, third item. So if I want to do that, I just put here ID third item, and then I can make it green yeah so background green and there you go if i run it you'll see that now it's green there it is so that's how it works at some point you will start feeling more comfortable with specificity and you'll see how amazing it is and you can also use the inspector and i forgot to tell you that like if i have some conflicting con conflicting styles because they all i said that all the allies should have a background pink and I also say that all the U allies that belong to IOL should have a background blue, then both are in the same ones. But if, when you right click and inspect, you can see the collision happening. Look, UL ally background, UL ally background, and this one has a line crossing over. So that means it's not being applied because there's another one that wins. If I disable this one, you'll see how it wins. Now it's not with a cross line. And that's pretty much it. You can you can figure out on the inspector all the conflicts you have and then figure them out. Like if I really wanted to make this pink and it's not working, I would have to use something more specific. Uh, maybe I can just have a pink class, you know, or something like this. Dot pink. And then I'm saying all the allies with the class pink. And then I will have to come here and apply the class pink to all of them. And that will work. That's one one possibility. You just have to be sh uh, have to be clear of everything you're doing and specificity.